Hi guys, welcome back to CMOS lecture series. In this session, we discuss about transmission gate. In last previous session, we have discussed about CMOS and how it is used as a uh, for implementation of la logic gates and also multiplexers. In this today's session, we discuss about transmission gate. So, what is transmission gate? It it is a combination of PMOS and NMOS again. PMOS and NMOS, but PMOS and NMOS are parallelly connected. Are parallelly connected. And it it acts as a bidirectional switch. The symbol for this transmission gate is looks like this. We will be having input A and output B and a control signal C and its complement. We can also represent this transmission gate using another form. This is output, input and control signal C with C bar. And since it is a parallel connection, parallelly connected, transmission gate is represented like this. This is PMOS and NMOS is in parallel with PMOS having control signal C and C bar components. So, an transmission gate is used as tri-state buffer. So, what do you mean by tri-state buffer? Tri-state buffer and end and day, manaki kada control signal undi and an input signal A and also manaki output signal kuda undi B. So, control signal anna di 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Control signal anna di 0 ayin appudu, NMOS anna di off state lo undi. And adhe vidanga PMOS ki control signal C bar ka batti anna uthadi. So, both will be in off state. Oh, sorry, PMOS, NMOS. And output. This will be in off state and N mass will be in off state since this acts as high impedance. Similarly, again control signal is 0, this will be off, off, again high impedance. When control signal is 1, NMOS control signal undi. So, control signal 1 line up to NMOS on state law and PMOS on the off hypothesis. So, output will be equal to A. So, A M out of the output of the other. PMOS will be in off state, NMOS will be in on state. Will be in off, on. Will be 0, 1. So, we are having off state, on state and high impedance. So, these are the three output conditions. So, transmission gate is used as a tri-state buffer. This is introduction about transmission gate. And now, we look how transmission gate is used to implement the logic gates. First of all, AND gate. Truth table for AND gate is 2 input AND gate y will be equal to a b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 will be having 1 0 0 0. So, for transmission gate we will be having and PMOS in parallel with 
we will try again P mass and an N mass did be A. So, Madam, we can truth table choose B and the logic high on output is same as A and when B is in logic low, so control signal low low on output is low irrespective of A value. So, Manaku ikada output sig control signal anadi B that is A on state low on upudu, Manaku output anadi A value ochi. Ade vidanga, e B value B B and I can control signal. So e B and I one on state off state low on upu, that is zero. Logic low low on upu, e A value by my depend kakuna output and zero in me. So it is connected to ground. Ground nothing but logic low. So it can logic low put out the B bar ki connect in up This is connected to B. And N mass is connected to B bar. Here output is taken. This is AND gate. Similarly, for R gate, truth table for R gate is A, B, Y, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. R gate ki one of the input high unte, man output high as thadi. Remaining will be 0. So, ikada B and Adi manam again control signal ga consider chase te, logic low on apudu or logic high on apudu irrespective of a value a value pine depend kakuna output anadi high undi so manam lr draw yes samante first basic structure is p mass and n mass are connected in parallel and one is output a another one is output b output y so ikkada a value paina depend kaakunda ee control signal anadi high high nothing but here b so ee control signal anadi high unnapudu irrespective of this a value output anadi high undi so ee a value anadi manam vdd connect chesthe output will be always high irrespective of this a, so this is not depending on the a value kanuka output anadi high untadi and another case is when the control signal anadi low unnapudu a value a raithe undo ade value undi so ikkada a value anadi a raithe undo adi raavalante manaku Ikada B complement that is B bar another control signal guy. That's it. Here will be having output. So and get implement and get implement chalande. Mana kikada ground connect chesam. Akada V D D connect chali. And ikada manam B a, a connection gara B in control signal ga this kuna. A manam input ga this kuna. B bar and control signal ga this kuna. This is implementation of R gate using transmission gate. Now, similarly, NAND and NAR gate ni kuda manam e transmission gate use chesi implement ye chu. So, NAND gate truth table ela on tadi A, B and output. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, NAND gate, if high low on 
when both they are one it will be zero remaining case it will be one this is quite opposite to and get so ikkada manam control signal b b anadi control signal ga consider chesthe so b anadi low lo unnappudu irrespective of this a value irrespective of this a value when b is low that is b anadi logic low lo unnappudu output anadi manaku high undi so first dani consider cheddam output high undi ante dan ardham it is connected to vdd input is connected to vdd high A circuit can be common. The one is connected to P MOS, another connected to N MOS, and our end is parallel. So, we connect VDD to A value. It depends on what we do. If you have a control signal, it is low. Low is B bar. B. Okay, this is one. And again, this control signal is high. Low is high. Low is A value is complement. So, A complement values are getting. A complement is high low on the control signal. So, C is B bar. This is also B bar. This is the So, here again on NMOS, this is output. But here, it is high. So, if you have B value control signal, you can see that A input is a complement and output. And control signal is a low low. That is B bar consider. Then, irrespective of A value, we are getting output as logic high. And we can connect the voltage and input. This is why. That is why we have consider the NOR gate. Using this transmission gate. NAR gate yukka truth table NT A, B and Y 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So NAR gate anadhi R gate ke exactly opposite. So 0, 0 ki manaku 1 no study and remaining all case we will be having zeros. So similar ga previous Gates are like implement gates, so transmission gate is used. See, this is also. So, B is like a control signal. Like a signal chase. Point B. B is high. I am put. B is high. Control signal is logic high. Irrespective of this A value, it is zero or not, one or not, or not. I mean, output is like zero. So, output zero is like. I mean, input to ground is like. So, input ni manam ground chase the. Input is ground and irrespective of A value. A value can depend on the color, but input is ground. Yes, to know. And control signal is the pudu B and the logic high on the NAR gate NMOS yaka logic NMOS the gara logic ka nadi, that is control signal and nadi B on the And another case is the control signal is the low low on the output. A is a complement of the output. See, when output is low, A, A is 0 here and we are getting output as 1. A is 1 here and we are getting output as 0. So, when input control signal is the low B bar that is low low on up to A input you have to complement out on the then the LR as some input on the A complement and a put to control signal manaku low low that is B bar on up to this is as usual B and manaki kada output of study If you follow this rule, you will implement the XR and XNR gate. Thank you.